There is a reason why dropshippers don't continue doing dropshipping and they go talk about it on YouTube and all that and build a course on how you can start a dropshipping business of your own. There is a reason. Before you start a dropshipping business, you've got to listen to this. A couple years back, I tried to open up a dropshipping business, even though I already had an e-commerce business. Why? Because I was on YouTube and I saw dropshipping sold by these young kids as really easy, lucrative businesses to operate. Yes, while it did look like that at the very beginning, I soon learned after doing it, it's actually not. So how dropshipping works is you run paid ads through Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok to potential customers that would buy this particular product. Let's say, for example, you sell pet collars. When a customer buys this, you would go on Alibaba or AliExpress and ship it direct from China to um, that customer. So you don't physically hold any of the stock, which is great because you could start with not that much money. And while, yes, you could sit in front of your laptop at home doing this business, there's a downside to it. The thing with dropshipping is that you don't actually have a brand yet. And branding takes a lot of time to build and your reputation. So if you're ordering generic products off AliExpress or Alibaba, then any other dropshipper that comes onto the market selling exactly the same thing, hot product, they would say, um, then you could basically lose out to another competitor or multiple competitors because of pricing or maybe they market it better on Facebook or then maybe they put more ad spend on Facebook to knock you out. So it's quite competitive and you're always like looking for the next hot product until you build yourself a brand. So say, for example, you sell many, many different generic products and you find that one of them works. That's your winning product. Then you would take that winning product and try and build a brand out of it. Now, when I realized this, I was like, damn, that was stupid of me because I actually already had a brand. Like I already had an e-commerce business. Why was I creating something from scratch again so that I could build myself another brand? And while yes, there are businesses that have thrived and developed a brand of their own, but I'm guessing that quite a lot of them don't because it is such a short lived type of business model. That's my take on dropshipping business models. Let me know what you think in the comments.